man, I don't even know. I was like, yeah, I don't even know. Actually, since I found the last, I finally bought the last book of Animorphs. Let me just read it right now. Let me just look to see what year it came out of. 2001. Yeah, that's what I thought. So, I missed the mark. It's the 20th season. I mean, 20th season. It's the 20th year anniversary, even though now it's not. But let's just say it kind of is. Let's just play and say it is. So, what did they did? What did Scholastic do for Animorphs to celebrate their 20th anniversary? They gave us graphic novels. <laughs> And the third one has yet to even hit stores. Dang. So, let's just talk about my experience with Animorphs and how it played out. So, I never read the... F Actually, no, I did read the first book. It's like I read the first book, I read the second book, and then I ended it there. I didn't read the third book or anything. It's like, yeah, so I stopped it there and i did get to have one book that i did buy one book it was either back from the past megamorph book episode megamorph book four or um the familiar i chose the familiar and within a few years it got stolen from me along with many other books always saying who the hell steal books damn it who the freaking hell would steal books what the fuck <laughs> yeah it's it's really messed the freak up am i right it's messed the freak up so besides that i watched the tv show until i didn't have cable no more so as i didn't have cable no more i had no idea what's going on with the freaking series and I had no idea they actually ended it and believe it or not they ended it before even a book ended and it's like why did you do that <laughs> <laughs> yeah and apparently it was nickelodeon's answer to power wanges and it's like yeah but it comes on at night <laughs> it's like yeah it's like dude how can this be your answer to power rangers if it comes on at fucking night at 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 night dude what the hell what the hell nickelodeon i would love to have the dvds i never i think i saw only once the episode i mean the the show from beginning to end only once and even then i'm like i don't think i saw all of it thanks to who man 696 or 590 569 he did try and it's like yeah he did try to do it and looks like it just takes five hours or so to watch the whole entire series cool it's kind of messed up that they dogged him out even though like the first so here's the thing first thing they did was they decided to be like oh well it's the year 2000 let's try to spice up things you know we're gonna take these books and we're gonna put modern stuff because it was the 2000s into it so they put it in a 2000 landscape even though it was based in the path based in the 90s landscape or late 90s landscape so <laughs> that didn't work well they ended with book six then they decided in the 10 year anniversary i think that's what occurred is that they decided to re-release all the books and they had new people who actually post as them i don't know and i haven't really seen any of the books that were remade right now so i don't have any idea which is what and it, of course, I always say this, but I really hope you don't hear what's going on in the background, son of a bitch. But anyways, <laughs> anyways, I haven't seen any of the 2001 re-releases or re, I, I guess you say remakes or re-releases or whatever. So yeah, i have never seen those. I don't think I've seen them. I never actually got to look at one and look at the other, be like, hmm, I know one thing that Tobias is a uh, person that kid that was modeling him got changed in i think got changed midway in the original book and then they changed him again in the 2011 releases and the interesting part has to be the fact of what happened at the end of the series so at the end of the series even though sadly it kind of was ghost written many times because she had EverQuest. I think that was it. She had EverQuest and she was launching EverQuest and then going to give it to someone like, here you go, guys, go write it. And she'll just go with Animorphs. Sadly, that was the opposite that happened. EverQuest absorbed her while Animorphs kind of had a nice little hand on her. She had a guided hand on it, but 
it wasn't that good though. It's like, yeah, she didn't have full control. So at the end of it all, they wanted her to wrap it up, but she wanted to do this. This is what originally supposed to happen. I was kind of hoping they would have done it in 2011 since there was a re-release. And it's like that would have spiced things up and made things a little bit interesting. But fine, fuck it. What she wanted to do was uh, book 53, Megamorph book number 5, book 54. Nice. What happened was, forget the freaking damn Megamorph book. Go fuck yourself. 53, 54, we're done. And you can see the last bit of the book, which I wonder if the 2011 remake, re-release, has the correction. But she has it on there that has five Megamorph books, not four. So, yeah, at this point when she wrote it, she kind of forgot that part, I guess. And that's what I wish, is that, why don't, it's like, I don't even know if she even has it. That's the sad part. It's like, we don't know exactly for sure if she actually has those, but I would wish that she did have the original script of 53, book, Megamorph, Megamorph book 5, 54, and then later she's just biding her time to the point of where they're going to do a re-release. It's like, all right, good, then here's 53, here's the new 53, here's the new, here's the Megamorph book, here's 54. So it's, y'all guys love money, right? It's like, you got some freaking damn money. So if there's a freaking damn little whisper being like, hey, dude, book 53 and book 54 is different. And now Megamorph book five is out. It is out now, finally. It's like, holy frick. Yeah, so all the all the freaking Megamorph fans are going to go stand ruling, going out there, getting that new 53 book, Megamorph book 5 and 54. Of course, some will actually just not be in a no and just be like, oh, here's Megamorph book 5. I'm pretty sure, sadly, even with Megamorph book 5, you kind of need to have 53 and 54. You kind of need it. So, did I read the last book? Oh, yeah. I did actually have the last book. I rented it from the library, and, of course, I was a jerk, and I didn't read all of I read. I read some of it. It's like, I know some of it. And I guess we could talk about the characters at this point. But it's like, yeah, I know some of it, and I read the last part, and the last part is like, what the frick, and just left it open-ended to be like, we have a new chapter now. And Worf's in space, 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 space. But anyways, I was like, I like Jake. I like Marco. I'm cool with Tobias, but damn, Tobias is kind of suck where it's like, I don't want to be human anymore. I'm going to be a bird. And now he's a bird. And now he's a Nothlick. And then he gets to morph again. And it's like, so the war is over, dude. What you're going to do? You're going to stay a freaking damn bird? You're not going to turn back a human? You bastard son of a... <laughs> yeah, and then we get some messed up crap where it's like, oh, well, his mom actually is around. And she actually is mute not mute she actually is deaf so that sucks <laughs> she's either deaf or blind i forgot which one it was frigate so yeah we have that messed up part so he didn't have family at first and now he does have family and he's not gonna go for it and lo and behold axe who is the analyte that joined them prince axe actually is his uncle Dude, dude, dude. And they'll never learn that. Dude, dude, dude. And it's like, you have freaking family. So he's half alien, technically. I never liked Rachel. <laughs> it's like, yes, I never freaking like Rachel. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's like, I never liked Rachel. I never liked her. Cassie, I'm kind of like, eh. Because of the TV show, I think she's all right. But book wise, it's like, I'm, I don't know for sure. I think I talked about everyone, right? It's like, yeah, I talked about almost everyone. You know, Mirko. And the only one I didn't talk about is Axe, which Axe, he's fine. Yeah, he's fine. He didn't do he didn't do anything messed to freak up. And thanks to Paparina, I guess I got to understand all of what happened in the in the TV show. Well, not the TV show, all of the book series. Which is crazy, where it's like they eventually got even more Animorphs. It's like it didn't just end with David, which is like you know, if I was going to rewrite this, I would have liked David to still be alive. It's like, we don't know if David's alive or not. Some speculate that either Rachel ate David or David scurried away and now he's forever a rat. Me, I'm like, I wish that she actually did keep David and just fed David. And then when it comes to the final battle, when it came to that whole messed up issue with what she went with, David came out of nowhere and David actually killed 
Yeah, it's like, yeah, David actually killed and maybe he died for her. And well, she lives while he dies. And it's like, well, there you go. He that was nice. It's like, yeah, I don't know. It's like, yeah, but it's like when I was in the zone a few years ago, I was like, yeah, I wish David actually still existed. I did actually check out the choose your own adventure, choose your own adventure ones. I think I've looked at the first one. I don't think I ever looked at the second one. Yeah, the first one was pretty okay. It's like, I got it now. It's like, yeah, I officially own it now. I think I own two copies. Hey, so that was pretty awesome. Let's see. I think that's it. Oh, yeah. Note, I didn't get to see all of the TV show because cable. Yeah, cable got cut. They never actually gave us any true releases. They gave us like VHS releases, but that's it. And note that there's a lot more Animorphs that came, and that was interesting and crazy. Where I was like, "Oh wait, what?" And it's like, "Yeah, it's like I don't think I think I just grow through the book and just read through some of it." And well, Jake and Mirko are both okay. Cassie's okay. Rachel's dead, of course. Tobias, I forgot. It's like is now I forgot again. Where it's like, did he just lose his mind and now he's a bird forever, or he actually is still in his right mind, but he's just a bird? I don't freaking know. I don't remember. It's like, yeah, I don't freaking remember. The freaking um ant that turned human. Oh, that was some messed up gross crap right there. Um, Yerk in the brain. Oh, frick. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's just so many things that happened there. That's like, wow, that's just crazy. Oh, and the worst cover of them all has to be the one that has freaking um Rachel turning into that freak show human beast what the fuck was that <laughs> like what the fuck was that before i started really truly collecting i had book one um the cheetah one i think that was book 37 i had familiar and that's it i just had three books now i have close to ha um 50 percent it's like i have more like 50 percent 60 50 55 something like that so it's like that's pretty cool. It's like, yeah, that's pretty cool. Will I ever actually truly read them? I don't know for sure. I'm actually leaning towards the idea of I might as well have two versions of them, two books of collections. I have one collection that I'm gonna most likely let my children read and I'll read myself. And then I have my no I pristine collection that I'm not gonna ever be touched because hell no. <laughs> yeah, because of hell no. No, I want to keep mine pristine. I want to keep it nice and clean and shiny. <laughs> and that's why no one touches these books. Nobody. No. Uh, but Animorphs was something that was nice to see in the world. I'm glad it existed. It just sucks that, you know, the TV show later just diverged from it and didn't even end it exactly when the freaking books ended. And I really wanted to see how her idea or their idea play out of 53 Megamorph book five and 54. And then she actually just put her hammer. She's put a hammer down, put her hammer down twofold being like, we didn't like, well, some people didn't like the ending. Some people didn't like the ending and they didn't like the fact that people died and war and everything. And she said, war isn't pretty. Pretty is not nice. War is messed up. And there's just some scars that comes with it. And people, some people just didn't like it. They didn't like how it ended. And I, for me, I'm like, well, the Yerks had to end somehow. And it was just crazy that it just ended like that. I think I should have read book 52 and 53 though. <laughs> it's like, I should have read those books. So I know that, Oh, they got, they recruited more animorphs. They recruited ones who I think were actually kind of crippled and handicapped. So they actually got the crippled and handicapped to fight them, fight with them in animal form. And I think they all got obliterated like in one or two pages. And it's like, what the fuck, man? What the fuck, man? what the? it's like that i have to admit reading that was kind of messed to freak up but i scammed me through i scanned through it so <laughs> it's like yeah so i didn't really read that part i didn't really know what i was reading i just thought it was just those six going against all those yurks and lo and behold the yurks even got the cube and they they can morph into animals too but still this was a good book series i was okay with it 
yeah, it was cool. It was awesome. And some actually make a speculation. And then there was actually like a previous one that she created called Changeling. So that's just some cool stuff, man. For it to be 20 years old and ongoing is cool. It's just that Scholastic, they don't know exactly what they're really doing here. They decided to do a graphics. I mean, yes, they went crazy with the toys, which that was awesome, I guess. Kind of. The Tyrannosaurus one was kind of what the frick. Weird, gross. The Megamorph books themselves. I think the Megamorph books and, of course, Fangar um, uh, Chronicles. I think there was a little bit of other ones, too. I bet they were okay in their own whatever. I think I didn't read any of them. I was like, yeah, I didn't read any of the Megamorph books. But I would just say that if the books really actually truly mattered, like Megamorph book five, I would have most likely looked into it. But it just sucks that even to this day where I'm like, you could make a re-release. You could release Megamorph five. You could actually make a Walmart exclusive where it's like the true or the freaking extended version or something of the Animorphs ending. You know, just something that's like, yeah, there we go. And it's like, hey, there we go. Yeah, we got the freaking two books. We got a Megamorph book five in there. Hey, it's like we can do that way. It's like, please let us see the full vision that you had for the story. That's the only thing I'm like complaining about. I don't care about the whole ending being like, oh, this is a downer. They won in the end. That was awesome. They won in the end. But sadly, it was kind of rushed considering Scholastic's like, we got to go on to a new thing. New thing now. New thing now. And it's like, Scholastic, stop being an idiot. <laughs> You have a freaking cash cow and you want to just go to a next thing right now and fi just finish this off like quick. Like, geez, man, just finish it off quick. It's like, I'm pretty sure Goosebumps got freaked over in this idea, too. <laughs> like, yeah, it's like, we're going to end a new one and get Goosebumps 2000. And it's, about to, it's like, I don't know what to do. Anyways, yeah. Animorphs was an awesome thing to check out. I'm glad that it still exists to this day, even though you can't buy the books, you know, like, yeah, you have to go to thrift stores and go online and stuff. I sold a few books myself because eventually I got like triple, um, triple copies, triple like duplicates. And I sold those off and I still sell a bit of them off today. And well, Animorphs is a freaking damn cool thing. It's just that it's too bad the toys aren't really that good. No offense, but they weren't really that good. Everybody say, everybody say I'm a crazy man.